What is up, YouTube? Riley B. Ways here once again with another tutorial for you guys. So, adding on to Tinker's construction that I have previously put up, and it was very, almost very in depth with the unstable and unstable stable ingots and smeltery to making the tools and what I did to fix that problem on my server given that the extra utilities had a bug in which it didn't incorporate with Tinker's construction very well so to add on to that we are going from that point and we're actually taking a big step backwards to the very beginning yes that is right I'm going to take us from the very beginning of this mod and introduce to you guys how to get to making the tools that you would love to have how to add modifications to them um, and what resources you can do now as I really want to try to make these videos anywhere between 5 to 15 minutes long we're not going to go over too much every video but I am going to try to squeeze as much as I can um, in as little as time as I can. Now I will mention this is on my server that I'm hosting right now, the Nova and Genetics. Um, so everything is being done by whatever rules and whatever guidelines are set. That way I'm not putting out a bad example. Uh, that's pretty obvious. So this is a chest for a waste of space. But we are going to need these following items. Make yourself a good stack of seared bricks. Uh, they're really simple to make. Uh, you have to make, obviously, seared bricks. And then to make these bricks, you're going to need grout. To make grout, you're going to need four gravel, four sand, and a clay block to make you know the most out of it. Or if you would like to, one sand, one gravel, and one clay. After that, you're going to need one seared brick, one smeltery controller, one smeltery drain, and it's up to you for how many seared faucets, casting table, and casting basins you would like. How to craft the tank, the controller, and the drain are very simple. For the tank, you're going to need, of course, more seared bricks. I already told you how to make those. And some glass. Whether it needs to be stained. It's been a while since I've tested that. I think it's safe to say that it does not need to be drained. Wow. Stained. Uh, but definitely try it out with just a regular glass. Because I'm pretty positive it just may work. Uh, but don't hold me to that. Moving on, we have the controller. Pretty simple. I'll get the picture. Next is the smeltery drain. Smeltery drain, you guys get the picture. Then we have the seared faucet. The smeltery is leaking. Interesting. Go ahead. Very straightforward. Casting table, also straightforward. Basin, same thing. Um, these are easy to figure out. All you need to do is make a good couple of stacks of seared bricks and I'm sure you're good to go. Moving forward, for our example today of not only building it but also taking a step into smelting it, we are going to use cobalt ingots and we're going to use a ingot cast. For the ingot cast, they're really easy to make. If it'll pop up, you need to melt either gold or aluminum brass or smelt it inside the smeltery and then you need to put a brick into the casting table and it'll actually make the ingot cast in which you'll take the brick out and the cast out keep the cast do whatever you want with the brick of course there's other ways you can do this with different bricks possibly but we're just gonna move along you can even use seared bricks so you get the point to build this structure, it is best 
to say you are going to need a 3x3 three three hollow interior and a, well, technically a 3x3 three three outer exterior, um, but some people like to square it off, so I'll show you exactly what I mean. So at 3x3, three three, you're going to need it like this, but of course you're going to need to build the wall around it, so you can get away with doing this. Of course, um, you don't need to fill those corners. Feel free to, if you feel obliged to have to get that done, go ahead and stick your tank on the side, your smelt tree controller, and last but not least, if I could find it, the drain, if it'll place. When you place this drain, make sure you're on the outside facing in, because if you're on the inside facing outside, you will not get the correct... Um, placements as this big black hole needs to go in and these tiny black hole needs to go out also pardon the pun once you have that done as you can tell having some block confiscation so okay let's do this once you get that done go ahead and build it as high as you would like I recommend to always go at at least one above your little smeltery. The reason for this is when you click in there, you'll see that your space of how much you can smelt differs on the size. The higher you go, the more space you have, the more resources you could smelt down or melt down, um, either way, and the more you can hold to be able to make more at once. Uh, like I said, it's kind of a run on more and more and more, but you get the point. Um, from here, we're going to go ahead and test out two of them uh, individually. But before we can go ahead and get started with the size that we have, this is a pretty good darn size. I'm not going to argue with this. Pretty pretty large. Gives me a good amount of space. So with this being done, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get some lava of course you guys know as tutorial purposes I don't need to actually go find this um, so we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna fill it up with lava as lava is the necessity of well producing heat and smelting everything so as you see it's filled up that's already been on because of these three components and the right building structure of course you can fill in the corners if you like as I explained but that's up to you I would also recommend that when you build this please try to build this in a space that not only is it open but try to designate a room for it as when you get into this more and more in depth you will notice that other basic necessities and materials and what have you will start to add up more and more and more which i'll try to go in the, in this video if i can if not i will catch you guys on the next with the next basics moving forward with the smeltery you're going to go ahead and this purpose uh, i'm not going to go ahead and show you how to make the cast as i already did about placing uh, gold in there to smelt down and then placing a brick any kind in the middle and then once it is melted down in here and you see it in here not on the left but you see it in this uh, well smeltery go ahead and click the faucet and it would drain making that you already have the brick in there you get your cast in this case moving forward skipping steps and we're gonna go ahead and place for tutorial purposes cobalt ingot one of the strongest ones in here I would go through and I would use the um, unstable ingots uh, I can show you um, the unstable ingots I can actually end up using to make these other tools and weapons but because of this purpose This is why I am not using um, the unstable ingots to make the tools. And this reason is for the fact that this item is banned due to the fact that it is invincible, it never breaks, and 
As far as what we have discussed for rules and guidelines, it is too powerful for the users we will be having on here. Therefore, all of these tools that say unbreakable, excluding the short bow and the long bow. The short bow and the long bow are the only thing that can be made on my server and are not banned. As far as the unstable tools, you will have to refer to extra utilities in which it uses obsidian and unstable or unstable slash stable. Moving forward from that explanation that was probably not needed, Cobalt does take just a little bit of time to smelt down other things, uh, maybe iron, maybe gold. Um, they tend to smelt down at a faster rate, uh, thus using less fuel. In this case, it takes a little longer, but there we go. We got our five ingots in. We can actually, given that we weren't using ingots, um, I guess I need to prove this to you guys. It makes perfect sense. I'm going to grab uh, maybe a well, if it wants to show up any time today. In this case, instead of doing ingots, to say the least, you can grab um, a gravel ore if you're on my mod pack server. Um, you can grab, I'm assuming, if this works, yes, you can do the nether version as well. Um, could have swore there was one more, but it just might not be showing. So guys, forgive me if I'm not pulling all this out properly but y'all get the point if you get the ore which usually is in the nether um take it put it in here it works just as well you actually probably will get more out of it because of the rate of how much you'll get um but we'll see right now it's at five ingots uh, once it's done we'll go ahead and see how much it is given that you know we're gonna empty this out so <clears throat> For test purposes to explain the ingots, the ingot's going to come out, it's going to go in the basin, and it's going to give me yet another ingot. We're going to throw that big in there to go ahead and add the numbers up. Remember, we were at 5. If you were to take this out, there are other casts. If I'm saying this wrong, forgive me, but there are other casts to use. And for an example today... I'm going to go ahead and use these three casts, which is a tool binding cast, a tool rod, and a pickaxe head cast. Probably obvious what we're making today with Tinker's Construct. Now, in order for this to work, we are going to actually skip to using one table. And if I can find it within a good timestamp, we'll be able to go ahead and get forward with this without taking too much time. Um, I think I'm missing it. Guys, I was on a roll and I broke my little streak. Nope. I did not try here. You're going to need the tool forge. The tool forge is actually its own thing. Um, when we open it up, you see that it's got its own little dealio. You can add your uh, your your mod. Wow, you can add your custom. Uh, what I said in the beginning of the video. Wow, you can add custom things to it, uh, repairs, uh, or change your tools, place a tool in the material on the left to get started, uh, pretty much what it says right there, modifications. Uh, and this right here, by clicking on it, it'll show you what you need to make it. It might also tell you what you need to make with it, what you need to make it. So in this case, as you see, if we're making a pick, I am going to go ahead and need the pick head, the binding, and the rod. So with that being said, I said 5, now it's 9. Okay, that's not too bad. So we're going to go ahead and put this in there. We're going to make that. We're going to let it dry. We're going to pull that out again, put the rod in there and pull that out. Let that dry again as well. And you can tell it dries. Pretty simple because as I take this out and put this in here and let it soak, you'll see that it fills in the inlines and then comes out. There we go. We're going to go ahead and pull that out. We still have quite a bit left. It does not take much, guys. Go ahead and go in here um, and <clears throat> click what you're wanting to make. Go ahead and put the head in there. 
that in there, the rod, and put the binding in there, and you will see it'll make you a cobalt pickaxe, which means, in this case, it comes out reinforced too on it by default. Um, these pickaxes are tending to be really good, they're really strong, and usually typically last a while. As you see here, it gives you information. Your durability will be 1400, your mining speed will be 14, and your mining level is well cobalt. Pretty strong. Modifiers remaining, you can only go up to three modifiers. You get it, you do what you want to do. Um, hello sheep, how are you doing? We're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and grab repetition, my bad. We're going to place some stone down just to show you guys really quick. I'm in creative like a dummy. So it, it, it mines pretty swell. Um, this is actually not too bad. It actually seems pretty good right there. We're going to throw this in here because it's a waste. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so it does look like we're running about 15-16 minutes on video right now, so like I said, I didn't want to go past that far. I told you guys how to pretty much build the seared, uh, seared breaks, the smell tree, told you how to put this all down, kind of gave an example of how to craft it, what to put in there, how it melts, um, gave you an idea of the cast and how to make them, and go from there. Of course, with the cast of these ones, you actually have to first make a regular, like, cobblestone or stone uh, binding cast and stuff. I'll show you how to do that in the next tutorial video, but until then, this is Riley B. Ways checking out into the next tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.